this will be one of the candidates for no name nationals just to get it up and running won't be fast or anything but just to kind of get it running again this was my grandpa's it's a 93 d250 two-wheel drive cummins and automatic i'll just kind of walk it around here for you Got a little bit of a gouge there and no real rocker rut rot on this side it's got a little bit on the other side and i'll show you that but uh i'll get some uh, original looking wheels and hubcaps and things that go along with it but uh bed just kind of full of junk it's been sitting for a couple of years now the engine had water in it and uh whenever winter came it froze and busted and it's leaking everywhere so i gotta figure out that portion of it i've got a my dad's doing some digging some research on this truck and i'll uh, include that in future videos whenever i do it kind of neat piece of family history it's been in my family since it was new i go into the weeds and stuff here probably get stickers all over me uh, where did i see that rod yep oh, right there at the corner you can kind of see it there it's just a bunch of junk in it the speedometer he robbed it out um i think this is the one out of the other guy's truck and he sold it so i'll have to get a speedo for it um but it was fully loaded cruise control you know it's got the center console thing in it it's even got the little kid seats in the back there so it should make a pretty interesting revival sort of thing It'll just be a clean, nice daily driver that I can actually work. It's got a little ding in this front fender. Same way with the other side. Show you the show you the old Cummins. If you've never seen one, here, come up there. Being cantankerous. Right. There's the engine. Um, whenever it froze and busted, there's a new oil cooler on the side they put an oil cooler on the side because it did physically break it um <clears throat> so once they put the cooler on it they started just putting coolant in it and they could hear it kind of like raining down inside the engine um once it got about three quarters of the way full on the radiator <clears throat> and pulled the drain plug out of it and it's just raining out of the drain plug hole these have some freeze plugs in the heads, so I'm hoping that it just popped one of these freeze plugs and uh, I'm still good and I can just jam another freeze plug in it and call it good. If not, I'll have to pull the cylinder head on it and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. It's got the itty bitty baby turbo, <laughs> but well, it should be a lot of fun. There's the crinkle on the other side of the fender leave it kind of cracked so the rats don't get in but anyway let me know if you want to see that one at no name nationals here's another contender for uh, no name nationals it's a uh, 1996 honda civic with a turbo d16 in it it's a ton of fun. I uh, kind of started this car as an experiment, and I just I love driving it. It's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> don't mind the interior on it. It's I've been kind of driving it for the last couple weeks because I blew up the rear end in the Suburban. I will probably do a video on the rear end in the Suburban as well. But it's got your typical cancer spots of a Honda of the era. Um, but it's running drivable. Uh, it 
uh, the third gear is hating life but other than that it's a great little car as you can see it's been uh, abused a bit um i've honestly thought about kind of semi restoring this car just because it's so fun uh putting a new front clip on it basically from the junkyard and uh just driving it and show you what we got here just uh your typical d-series with turbo on it got rock guard on it open down pipe e85 uh four bar map just a just a lot of fun but this this thing's got a pretty cool story behind it too um if it's something that you want to see let me know uh when i got the car it was an automatic and it was already boosted uh, I switch, swapped it for a manual. Um, so, if it's something that you guys want to see out there at No Name Nationals, let me know. And I'll see what I can do about getting it out there. Here's another contender for No Name Nationals. Um, it's more just straight up drag car ready. Uh, it does have a couple problems breaking up around uh, four grand whenever it starts coming to boost. Um, so, I'll have to figure that out. It's got a cage in it, nice five point harness. Turbo LS combo, uh, it's a 1980 Ford Fairmont. But if this is something you want to see too, uh, let me know. I'll give you the backstory on it. And uh, we'll start trying to get it ready for No Name Nationals. So I guess this is my official No Name Nationals video. So uh, comment down below. Let me know which vehicle you would want to see more at the No Name Nationals. Heck, I may get the Cummins fixed and tow them both out there. I don't know.